Hi, it's Gabriel. I'm going to share with you one of my rules, which is the rule of three. Have you ever been helped by someone and you follow every single step, but you still find yourself asking, I don't think I could do this again, or how was I supposed to figure this out by myself? Instead, I want you to think about it as acquiring that new piece of knowledge that was previously missing. So whenever this question pops up to mind, what I want you to do is to work out that specific problem three times. Why? Because to, in order for you to acquire this new information or this new piece of knowledge, you must practice. Why? Because practice makes perfect. What's going to happen is that when you work out this problem three times, you'll go from saying, I don't think I could do this again by myself to I think I get it to I got this. The power in this rule is in the fact that it redirects your energy from, from something that's not important to something that is important. In other words, from resigning to the fact that you'll never get this problem to a simple three-step process that the end result will be you getting it. Now a word for warning though. There are two major reasons why you might not want to do this problem, this particular problem, three times. The first one is there's a lack of feedback. Your brain doesn't give you feedback like a typical, like other typical feedback, like for example a muscle. A muscle gives you feedback by being sore the next day, so you know you've gotten stronger. Um, uh, the brain just gets smarter, and the more you work out a particular problem, the more associations it starts making with that specific problem, and you get that specific key knowledge. The second reason might be because there's a lack of time. There's just too many problems. So what I want you to do is just to work out, to use the rule of three for those problems that are giving you a particular difficult time. I don't know if you've seen these YouTube videos of these kids kind of like jumping hurdles and they fall on the first hurdle, then they think they get up, and then they jump the next hurdle and they just keep on falling and falling and falling all over again. Well, I don't want you to do that. I don't want you to kind of like get a particular problem almost right all the time. Instead, I want you to get that first problem just perfect and then move on and that would be a lot better for your, your knowledge. Well, that wraps it up. I hope you enjoyed this tip, trick, tactic. It's helped many people and I hope it helps you